Oh, I like that one. I heard it. So good. So, pole pole. Pole pole. Pole pole. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice. That's good. Oh, what is your name, by Alexander. Alexander. Alexander, nice to meet hey, you. Hey, nice to meet you. Win. And you can have the, the microphone a little bit down there. Will yes. Be great, great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to uh, do yeah, a yeah. little bit of this later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What an entrance! Nice to be here. Nice to be here. And, and, and welcome, Thank Wim Hof Iceman, yes. to Framgon Spot. And, and it's so cool to be here at your place, the Iceman Center. Yes, yes, that, that's right over here. And as you see, you see a lot of palm trees. Yeah, yeah, palm trees. I just trees. have uh, little bananas over there. They are uh, uh, up there. Yeah, yeah, have some. Uh, uh, very little, but uh, ah, I love it. I love it. You love, and you have many stones as well? Yeah, I love uh, rocks. All, all, all kinds of, uh, uh, yeah, it's energy, trapped energy. It's still moving. You think a rock is not moving, but inside the molecules are moving. It's energy. It's amazing. It gives me energy. I love rocks. Mm -hmm. I think the heathens, you know, the natives before, they, all, uh, they worshipped uh, rocks. Like, it's, uh, it's a sanctuary place. It's natural, and you can feel the presence. And I think we lost a little bit of that presence. And that uh, we are great in uh, shooting people to the moon and making bridges, etc. But where are the core values of ours? The purpose deeply inside. Uh, the, the absence of depression, the mm. absence of inflammation mm. is done by feeling the nativeness of ours. And that is in connection, in harmony with the rocks, with the plants, with the animals, with the people around us. Love in love. That's what uh, I, you see rocks here. Yeah, you see rocks here. I, I saw uh, that you have a rock that, and, and I, I recognize it because I saw it on your YouTube channel. And uh, uh, it called elephant. Yes, elephant. Happy as an elephant. Yes, happy as an elephant. That's me. And uh, uh, I'm into the fundraising for elephants right now. And uh, I want to make it structural. Uh, they, uh, elephants are amazing, uh, amazing beings. They have ultrasonic sounds inside. We cannot even hear them, mm -hmm. but they uh, they connect with us very deeply inside. Uh, and, uh, and the people whom I w work with, 
they bring you close to the elephant without gates. It's not a zoo, it's direct contact. And then you feel this presence awakening a deep presence within your own uh, body, uh, your own physiology. And that is uh, those things we forgot. So, yeah, it's all in our uh, beautiful nature, our beautiful minds. We need to waken up to our potential. And you, with uh, this great podcast of yours, uh, chapeau for what you did, because you bring out consciousness, awareness yeah, thank to you. the people. And that is great work. It's love. Because in the end, we are uh, 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 humans are beautiful. Yeah, that's right. Only they forget, and they uh, are not able to tap in deeply. Yeah, and, and we are we're stressed up right now. Uh, stressed the, up, depression, the smartphones, and, yes. and the career, everything. All those things, yes. And uh, I think ta technology is great, but don't let it overtake you. Let it be a servant, and not you, the servant of the technology. Right. And can we start about your morning routines? How does your morning routine look like? Yeah, opening the eyes and <gasps> I begin with a good deep breath. And then very soon later, I'll take a cold shower. How long? Uh, 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 something, uh, uh, until Four I feel hours? Good. <laughs> no, 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 it's too much time. Uh, uh, you know, uh, if you take a couple of minutes and you make sure all the body adapts to the cold because you know you are very warm you're warm like a hot dog right in the, when you wake up you know nice and easy like a, a marmot like a lemming no i go directly straight to the cold and and, and get the biggest of reactions on my body and within 30 seconds or something uh, i'm completely not feeling the cold anymore. And then uh, two minutes later, I just finished it, it's okay. Uh, uh, does it need uh, uh, anymore? Well, what the importance of that uh, in the morning is that you wake up your vascular system. And your vascular system is like two and a half times the world around in the length of the veins, arteries, and capillaries. Everybody has it. And it contains uh, millions of little muscles. And they are trained if you go in, uh, and adapt to a cold shower a day. And that, uh, and that way, your vascular system is optimized. And then your heart doesn't need to pump so much. Because all these millions of little muscles, they help the blood flow go through. And they work with each other. Yes. It's one closed system, and, uh, and the originator is the heart. What happens if you take a cold shower every day? The heart rate is going to go down with 20, 30 beats a minute, 24 hours a day. That means stress is gone. This is what we do. It's a hormetic exercising. Hormetic stress exercising is a cold shower. Cold shower a day keeps the doctor away. What, uh, what happens more is that the blood flow runs much better through the system. Mm. The nutrients, vitamins, and minerals, and oxygen, they get better to the cells. So right. it produces more energy. That's why everybody feels so energized directly after the cold shower. Because the system is getting better into feeding all the cells of ours, which makes up molecules, which is energy. You feel more energy. And and how, how long time do you recommend? Like, is it one minute, like to, two minutes? To, yeah. or you begin with 30 every seconds. Yeah. I, I say to the people, uh, uh, just begin, uh, take your hot shower. And uh, I love hot showers too. So I, I take you warm start shower, with the shower, hot, hot, shower. hot shower, showers or after. Yeah, but uh, not, not me. Now, uh, because uh, my vascular system is really trained, I just take the cold shower. And when I take my ice bath, which is even more colder, then uh, afterwards, uh, and I go for, uh, 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 I recommend two minutes, but then uh, in very soon you are able to go five minutes. And today, you and uh, me, Alexander, we go for 10 minutes. That's awesome. Because we're going <laughs> to set our mind. Right. 
In the, the ice uh, bath. The power of the mind is amazing. This is what I've been showing in the last study. To be able to make my skin temperature not going down while ice water gets on the skin just by using the mind. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. And that means we are able to make stress go away just by using our mind. And this is the result after so much training and exposing myself into, into the cold that I've learned to awaken direct connections in the brain that enables me just by thought to make the difference in my body whenever there is stress. And that stress could be emotional, physical, bacterial, virus stress, uh, mental stress, daily stress, stress and congestions, stress that you cannot shit well, <laughs> whatever, you know, stress is stress. And uh, you are able just by using your mind to deal with that type or any type of stress. Mm. That, that is the message. And um, what is the negative effects from stress? The, uh, oxidative, you got oxidative stress and hormetic stress. Oxidative stress is negative. Uh, uh, that means that things you cannot handle and they get into the cell mechanisms and they uh, have an absolute negative uh, influence on uh, the cell uh, mechanisms and the mechanics and the telomeres, the longevity, the cell division, the, the DNA. And it uh, produces wrong genome expressions, which mm -hmm. makes you sick or even cancer in the end. So it all uh, stress is like an attack on our healthy mechanisms. And if we learn how to deal with stress, we, uh, the, the healthy mechanisms stay healthy. That's the whole trick. And this is what we do right now with, in San Francisco with 140 people, with the top uh, researchers on the DNA to show how to protect the cell uh, by uh, exercising uh, the, the cold showers and the breathing exercises. Uh, exercises, they are into positive stress activation, which is hormetic stress. And uh, uh, that makes the cell uh, uh, protected by uh, 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 proteins around the cell like little guards like little warriors who fend off viruses, bacteria, inflammation, and oxidative stress. So then the cell remains intact and the healthy uh, uh, production of the uh, me mechanics of the cell, they are able to flourish and to keep on going. It's amazing what we found. Yeah, it's amazing. And that's also what you did with uh, the, the deadly bacterial E. coli. Yeah. And that is so crazy. Yeah. That you inject E. coli in your bloodstream. Yes. Can you tell uh, oh, yes. us a little bit uh, so, about this? Uh, <clears throat> because of me doing a, a study, and I will show you the study, the first study, I, sh uh, I was staying like 80 minutes in uh, ice up till here, and I showed uh, they took blood, like 36 of tubes out of my arm. While I was 80 minutes up till here, up till my neck in ice. And my core body temperature remained 37 degrees, 80 minutes long. And then they took the blood, and the blood, they injected E. coli ex vivo. So I was not there, but my blood was there. And normally you have a very violent reaction uh, of the immune cells on the E. coli bacteria injected in the blood serum. And now there was zero reaction. They never had seen that. And then they said, can you do this That's a crazy. Lot? Yes. Can you do this when we inject you directly <laughs> uh, in your uh, veins? I said, yeah, hey, let's try it on. I think so. <laughs> let's so, try that. Let's what is the worst it. that can happen? I die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I get a little sick uh, or heavily sick, but only for six hours. But I did not become sick. I did my breathing techniques. I mm. used my mind mm. and uh, I did not become sick. I felt great and they saw that I was influencing directly at conscious will the autonomic nervous system. Thought of inaccess uh, inaccessible in uh, medical scientific literature that humans are able to do that. 
and I was uh, showing the contrary. So with that, uh, they said, yeah, uh, but you are the Iceman. You are a special. You are different. You are a, a freak of nature. And <laughs> this is, with normal people, not possible. And then I told them, yeah. yes, give me people for 10 days, and I will make them able what science is saying that is not possible with the human physiology at will, I will make them able at will to influence so deep within their bodies. And uh, with that, we will change medical literature as it is. And they said, okay, finally, they said, yes, let's do it. And we did a comparative study with 18 people there who did not train with me and 18 people who I trained. 12 of them were randomly chosen to uh, take part of the injection of the E. coli bacteria. And all of them, non-trained and trained. The non-trained people, they uh, became all sick, mm -hmm. and the trained people, after four, only four days of training, they did not become sick. And uh, uh, then they saw 16,134 people who had been exposed to the same experiment mm. all became sick. And then suddenly 12 people did 100% score in one comparative study uh, showed not to become sick. 100% score. So, But it is, is, this is only for that you train them for four days with the breathing technique, the focus, and also the cold. Yes, exactly. And In what did you do with them? Uh, I, what I do always with people is to go to the mountains. I have a, a house in Poland, somewhere at the mountain slopes. And uh, I trained the people over there every day, uh, uh, inside and outside, in the snow, barefoot, in shorts, going to the waterfall, and uh, slowly but surely in four days climb a mountain in shorts for five hours in freezing temperatures and have a great time. Then uh, when we arrived uh, on the top of the mountain, I knew these guys are ready. Let it come. Let the injection come of the bacteria. They will show the difference. And four days later, they were in the hospital, got the injection, and they mm. showed, turned around scientific lit uh, literature as it is. We are able to do so much more than has been uh, believed by science and scientific community. And we have to bring this to the people. So uh, what was the, the first time you exposed your, yourself to cold? When I was 17, that's 43 years ago, uh, uh, I just saw this thin layer of ice on the water. I was pondering at a Sunday morning uh, in the park and I saw nobody and I just felt attraction. I went in <laughs> and I, uh, uh, there from the yeah. inside, I felt yeah. so good. It's like, this is it. Mm. It's not in words, but that's the feeling. This is it. It's, it's nice, it's good. And I was playing around with the ice. Never had been in ice water as such before. So whenever you feel so good and only stayed one minute, uh, I, I had a rush later uh, and I felt good all day long. Then the other day I came back and I felt it again. And so, uh, since then I did it every day, every winter. So 43 years ago, I did it for the first time. And you know what happens when you go into the cold water? I, I began to realize the thing that happens when you go into the cold water is <gasps> You breathe deep. Yeah. And that deeper breathing brought about that I was able to stay longer and longer controlled in ice water. And uh, ice water is like stress. Ice water is stress on the body. Severe stress. Everybody knows it. In, in Sweden, Finland, uh, Norway, in Russia, that everybody knows. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, do it. There, there we are. Uh, yeah, it right. is cold. Yeah, it's it fucking cold. Class. Here we are. You got a man up. And this is what I've learned to do uh, through these breathing techniques to take away, to control the stress, to make swimming in ice water, a, I always say, make of your winter a summer. 
Like what I do is in wintertime, I'm in shorts outside. I'm having a good time, like people in the <laughs> summer. I swim outside. Yeah. I do yogic <laughs> exercising, uh, flexibility of my muscles, which needs to be warm. Outside in the snow, I call it snowga. <laughs> snowga. <laughs> yeah, man. And you can have such a fun going outside in the cold, and then afterwards, take a hot shower. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. <laughs> we miss out on that. We should yeah. take the winter as the greatest station of our years. Now, uh, now we get the winter depression because there's little, uh, little light. But you know what the cold does? It produces energy. That is like light. Light produces photosynthesis in the, in the trees and in the leaves. Produce glucose, a, li a life's energy food for the cells. And, uh, but so do, uh, do we with the cold. We turn the cold into heat, in mm -hmm. internal heat in the body. It's because it affects the mitochondria, the energy factories inside, and more molecules are manufactured by going into the cold. It's amazing. And then uh, uh, depression is no longer there. Boom. It influences par direct with the endocrine system. The endocrine system is the hormonal system. What, what is depression? A lack of serotonin uptake and the dopamine. It's out of balance and then you get the pressure loss. That's depression. Now, uh, if you go into the cold, then it activates the endocrine system. And with that, it begins to supply where there is shortage. shortage. Where there is a lack, it begins to supply. Natural, because our bodies, they, they work that way. But we don't know how to bring the energy. The cold, controlled, like gradual cold mm. exposure, is the, is the ability to tackle depression. Depression, but also inflammation. Mm. Inflammation is uh, cytokines. Uh, and uh, cytokines, they come when the immune system is uh, deregulated through uh, oxidative uh, stress of daily life, of emotions, yeah. of the work uh, you have to do. The actually, deadlines. I must ask you about this yes. because uh, I got for this is actually the first time I talk about this. Uh, for three, four months ago, I was going to the doctors and uh, I asked them for, uh, for this. You maybe see a little bit here, yes. little white patches. Yeah. Yeah. And, and here I was like, what is this? Yeah. And they said like, yeah, that's with, with the LIGO. And that's an autoimmune, uh, autoimmune disease. Diseases. Yeah. Right. And, 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 yeah. I, and I asked them, and for, for those guys that don't know what white LIGO is, uh, it is uh, like uh, which um, the pigment is lost on the, the skin. Yeah. I asked several doctors and they said that it's no, it's, it isn't a cure, but, uh, have you met uh, many people with... Uh, I know that you have met many people with autoimmune diseases. Yeah, yeah. Vi also, vita, vita ligo, psoriasis, and all kinds of skin cure? conditions. Does your method yes, cure? Yes, absolutely. Uh, it absolutely uh, battles the cytokines responsible for the autoimmune disorder. And uh, that is IL-6, IL-8. Those are uh, uh, pro-inflammatory. And then you have IL-10, anti-inflammatory, and those need to work. You, uh, you, uh, we were not able to make them work at will. But these breathing exercises have shown in the university to, uh, uh, to take down the responsible uh, inflammatory markers for vi vi vitaligo. Uh, but also psoriasis or any other scare, uh, autoimmune disease mm. to bring them down. That is bringing down the cause of the inflammation, mm. which is the overreactive immune system. And to bring up the right uh, pro-inflammatory uh, pro uh, response, the IL-10, who battles it. And then uh, we had no control over that, and now we have shown to be able uh, to have a control within 10 minutes. All right. What do you recommend me to do? Is it take a cold shower every day? Yes. And also the breathing? Yes. You start the breathing every day in Absolutely. the morning as well. I, I have started to do I do. Uh, I have done it for like uh, a month right now. Your, your breathing technique, that's uh, amazing. I, 
I wore for uh, I'm 34 right now, but when I was uh, 20, I wore a mine clearance diver in the Swedish Navy. That's why I have this frog on my on my. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So it's like I you, next week I got generals here. All right. Of the Marines, and I trained also the 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 SEALs in America, but in Pearl Harbor. You know the special forces. Yeah, yeah. They love it. They love That's it awesome. because it. Uh, what happens? They uh, deal with a lot of stress, mm. uh, uh, stress and sleep deprivation. See, uh, sleep deprivation, and the breathing really calms all the stress down. Yeah, it's amazing. When I t when when I try this, I uh, uh, said to my wife, "You must try this. This is this is so crazy. It's like you take. I've never taken drugs, but it's like you take like so much drugs. Yeah. It is like." Amazing. Yeah. And uh, but also when I when I were a, a, a diver, I could hold my breath for like three four minutes. When I did your breathing, I hold for five minutes. Yeah. And I was like, Amazing, holy yeah. shit! I were a I were a diver, a elite diver for a couple of years, and I hold my breath longer with your your breathing technique for like two weeks. Yes, yes, then, then amazing. I, yeah? Then I couldn't. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. My, my, I must especially uh, felt uh, bloody great eh? to to feel it. I always say feeling is understanding. Just do it, and you feel it. We have it endorsed by science and all. We have a potential waiting for us. It's bigger than we ever thought possible to control. And now it's there. You say within two weeks, uh, I say uh, within a half hour, you're going to change yourself. You're going to awaken to your potential. And you know what? There is much more there. It's only we give a direction, a new angle, a new opening to our potential. And, that, uh, and for that, your work here, to bring this to the people is, is uh, uh, yeah, respectful, great. Super. Can you explain to me what the, the breathing uh, you recommend to do in the morning, every day? On empty stomach, uh, which uh, you begin wi uh, 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 without food in the morning, I suppose. Or maybe yeah. you eat. To not go up sleepwalking. the night. Uh, sleepwalking. Yeah. <laughs> take, <laughs> a burger, take a burger. Take a burger, hot dog. <laughs> check, check your fridge before you begin with the breathing. <laughs> if you have been eating, yes or no. Uh, uh, when you, uh, you already uh, lie, uh, still lying in bed, is when your uh, tissue is very relaxed. And uh, when your tissue is relaxed, it, it is able to store up more oxygen. That's what it is. So the best is to do it on empty stomach while you're there in bed and uh, do 30 times deep breaths in. And that means uh, uh, with the stomach or the belly, chest, and into, uh, into your head. Into your head, and this was also not known, uh, we have shown this in a study in the mountains, uh, where uh, if you climb too fast a mountain up to the top, and it's like 6,000 meters, it's less than half the oxygen up there. Uh, like uh, in Kilimanjaro. Yeah, like the Kilimanjaro. Yeah, I were at the Kilimanjaro for, the, for uh, two years ago. Ah. And I did it in four days, and I get altitude sickness. Ah. And you did it like in 48 hours, and, yeah, you, did, yeah. and you didn't. Yeah, yeah, uh, 28, uh, 28 and a half. 28 and a half hours. Yes, and now I'm going to do it in uh, uh, next February, possibly, in a documentary, maybe uh, 20 hours or something. Whoa. And uh, it, it's but crazy. The thing is, the principle is uh, that it was not possible to acclimatize, to have enough oxygen if you go too fast uh, in the ascent if you go too fast to the top, uh, you, the body is not able to adapt to make more uh, white cells, red cells, to get more oxygen because there's less oxygen outside and the body has to come up with extra transporters of oxygen and that is acclimatization, but it takes more time. Now, these breathing exercises, they make you able to, say, when you get a headache, uh, because you're ascending too fast, you do the breathing exercise a little bit. It means the headache that you have a lack of oxygen in the, in the brain. And you do th this simple breathing technique. It's like 10 times, 15 times. And then you take it in. And you bring it, squeeze it to your head. You make the headache go away. Or you bring in oxygen. This is what happens. 
So what I say to the people, when you lie in bed, you lie in bed. Uh, uh, remember, you are able to bring in uh, uh, your belly that is deep, the, the, the down part of the lungs exercises, so more oxygen gets in, more air comes in, more oxygen comes in. And then your chest, expand your chest. And uh, don't forget, into your head, you are able to bring in also oxygen. Okay, but, but do you take, take the breath? Like right. that, and then let it go. So not from the nose? Uh, nose, I, 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 I always say, doesn't matter what kind of hole you use, <laughs> just get it in. Yes, get, People yes, ask me, hey, 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 baby, it doesn't matter what kind of hole you use, just get it in. <laughs> hey, it's funny, you know, but yeah. uh, thing is, it doesn't matter. We are not going to go into technical details. You have to do this, Nadi Sudana Pranayam and Surya Beda Tattva into the Kevala Kumbhaka and then into the nostrils, getting into the, the Kumbhaka Yoga of the Kundalini. And then Kundal. the Swadhisthan <laughs> chakra is suddenly open, and wow, the solar plexus! There you got him. <laughs> and that is only one part of the seven. And so we uh, got a, a lot more to explain. Just get it in. Just come on. <laughs> Fully in, letting go. Fully in, letting go. Fully in. Letting go. And logically, what happens, uh, more uh, uh, air is coming in than normal. More oxygen is coming in. That means that the CO2, the carbon dioxide, is going down. That mean, uh, is when you feel lightheaded, tingling in the mm. fingers. Very good for v vitiligo because the more oxygen comes in, becomes alkaline. That suppresses the cytokines. But do you recommend me to do this like uh, every morning, or is it like three times a day or two times a day? As you feel, uh, as it is still there, learn to connect because this has shown in science these breathing techniques, very simple, very effective, to go into the autonomic nervous system, to go into the immune system. So whatever uh, your body is saying, hey, look at me. Look at me and do something about it. What the me. fuck happened? You're you too stressed the, up. Yes. You got the tools. Go to me and deal with me. So until you're not dealing, you keep on going. And uh, maybe three times, maybe ten times. And uh, it doesn't matter until it, it's gone. And then you have a control. Then there is the neurological pathways are created. And then in an instant, you can do something. It's mm. creating a pathway over there. It's out of control. So you bring it into your control. Mm. And then once uh, the pathway is there, it really does not appear anymore because uh, uh, it goes naturally there. Mm. So uh, it's amazing that, uh, that we are able to create a bypass new neurology in the brain, in the body. It's all connected. The brain is the, the big uh, neurological uh, uh, conductor and, uh, and, and the rest of the body is uh, uh, there, the neurology is rooted. Mm. So it's all connected. Okay, so you take the 30 breaths uh, and then after that you, you, you take them fully in the last time. The last time. You let it go. And after that. And then you stop. Stop. You stop after the exhalation. Not fully exhalation, just yes. letting it go. Like. If I let it go, I go to what, uh, the atmosphere around here, which is one atmosphere. One atmosphere is like this. And then I feel no pressure. But if I do this, this was extra. But now I'm below the atmosphere. I want to stay in the atmosphere. It's for the reason, it's for the best uh, mm -hmm. gas exchange in the lungs. Mm. And how long time? Uh, then uh, it begins with one minute, two minutes, two minutes. Uh, three minutes. Amazing. Three that minutes. Every, everybody who is listening we, now. Three minutes in, uh, on empty. On empty lungs. Lungs. Uh, everybody, uh, you, uh, you should be very able to do that. And it's amazing. Uh, wh what happens, your body, get, uh, uh, through these breathing techniques, your body becomes very alkaline. 
alkalinity mm. is positive, it's not mm. acidic, it's alk the other side is alkal uh, alkaline. And after one and a half minute, and you are still alkaline then, we saw in the charge in the university on the monitors, we saw the saturation, the oxygen dropping dramatically. Mm. And they dropped to levels where people normally die. But you feel okay while you do it because you are alkaline. It's amazing. It's a, what happens in the brain is that it, there is no oxygen anymore in the body, but you or chemistry is great. It's great. There's only no oxygen. Now, we got in the brain stem, we got the parameters for when there is no, ox uh, uh, no oxygen. Then adrenaline, adrenaline, survival, survival, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. It's a, a survival mechanisms are at work. The deepest part of the brain. And who is doing it? That is you, because you are doing this consciously. So you create a neurological pathway to the brain stem. And that was thought of inaccessible, not controllable by humans. Now you learn to control it and to make a new pathway to that part. And what happens, the adrenal axis is being activated and with that you get a reboot, a reset, uh, resetting of your body the way nature meant it to be. And w the way nature meant it to be may means that bacteria goes, uh, is being suppressed, virus need, uh, is being suppressed, stem cells are being generated, bad cells are being annihilated or uh, recycled, and uh, 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 yes, wrong uh, cancer cells are being uh, mm. uh, killed, apoptosis, uh, cell death. Uh, all those things happen because it's all uh, uh, not n uh, things that are not helping the functionality of the body at that moment to survive. This is the natural mechanism in the body. And this is happening while you are, uh, 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 you feel great. While you, uh, uh, you're lying in bed, after one and a half minute, dramatic lowering the saturation, the oxygen in the blood, makes the adrenal axis go, and then the immune system starts mm. to work, the endocrine system, and we lost all those connections. And with this, you, it all comes back. And you know how much adrenaline, and it's only spiking, it doesn't stay all the time, only, boom, a hit in the body. It's like an injection of uh, when somebody's a heart attack. You get an injection, boom, in, in your heart. Yeah, to survive. Now you produce that yourself. And it has been compared, uh, the blood samples of the people doing these breathing exercises with adrenaline is compared to, in a study, to a study where they uh, took blood of people who were going into uh, their first bungee jump and it produces more adrenaline than the guys who went into the first bungee jump. Can you imagine the resetting, the rebooting mm. of your systems. And it's only very simple breathing techniques. Mm. It's amazing what we can do with that. No, it's besides amazing. of it's that, amazing. besides of that, if you had sex, if you had sex, this is nice detail, and, uh, uh, and you are uh, like exhausted because yeah, it's done, it was <laughs> nice. I tell you. you do a little bit of this breathing, you like to go again. <laughs> that is That's a amazing. nice detail. That's amazing. And one of the most frequent questions from you when I, when I uh, talked to the audience, they was like, yeah, you must uh, ask Wim Hof. Like your, you have the, the world record in ice pass. That, that's crazy. One hour and 53 minutes. But what happens with the testicles? What ah. happens with the balls? Yeah. They're just wondering what happened. Can I be in the ice bath so long time? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I, I, I'm, uh, Does your balls work? Does your testicles yeah, work? No, yeah. You know, it all goes back. It retracts. Because, uh, uh, and the balls and the, uh, uh, and the penis, they are, uh, uh, it's blood flow. Blood flow makes a boner. Yes. And the balls begin to work and uh, uh, retracts when I go into the cold water. Then it becomes little. You know, you, you see these uh, uh, Greek uh, sculptures, 
die, 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 de, de Adonis en de Olympic uh, disc uh, thrower. They all have these little penises. Yeah. We are not built to have a big penis while running. It hurts. Yeah. It's painful. Bang, 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 bang <laughs> while you run. No, it, uh, it was, it's normal that it retracts yeah. completely inside. And uh, uh, when you need it, it's there. And it's go outside. Yeah, small pe small penis is good for you. Uh, a small penis when you are in the cold water, that is good. A big <laughs> one when you do something else. All right, all right. And actually, also, I heard that you don't have to take any Vi Viagra if if, oh, if yeah. you do this as well. They they said a bio uh, a biochemical professor, uh, uh, and uh, he told me, you know, the genome expression for virility in the genes of the DNA. One of them is uh, responsible for the virility. It really, through this method, spikes up. That means Viagra, take your suitcases, goodbye. When you lost your, the, the love of your life, uh, you start to uh, come down and uh, go in more deeply in all of these things. Yes. What yes. happened? It's logical. When, you, when, when, the, when the love of your life, the mother of my four children, jumped from eight stories down that is serious that is not uh, it's not only serious you cannot grasp with the normal mind what is going on and you have a broken heart i was i'm connected my nervous system my blood my everything is connected to the love of my life it connects that uh, and it breaks the neurology it needs the other tuning the other vibration the other electricity the neurology which is one, that, that is love, that it is light, and we uh, produce light. We, I, we had four children, and mm. we, uh, I still have the four children, I'm working with them uh, every day, mm. uh, uh, with them, and, uh, but in 95, they were like uh, little children, and I was left alone. She jumped from an eight-story down because she couldn't handle schizophrenia. It is a terror of the mind. She kissed the children goodbye Whoa. before jumping down. Uh, this was a beautiful, very intelligent uh, woman, and the whole psychiatry could not handle this. Uh, with all the injections and all the uh, medicines and the pills, uh, it only became worse and worse and worse. So my, uh, uh, my thing is I was left behind, brokenhearted, and you get depressed. But you cannot be depressed because you got a, you're the only parent. You got to take care of the children. Yeah, they had the, you had, you had what, the pressure. What exactly? What I what I did was going into the cold water because I knew the cold water, and the cold water makes your uh, mind go still. You are just surviving in the cold water, so everything is not important. Your 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 thoughts are, are gonna go and be stilled. So that gave me from inside a moment of relief a moment of repair and I, so i did that every day i did it uh, so uh, a big uh, i loved it I, I loved it and i i cured myself and the love i found for my children to go on that they they made me survive but the cold water healed me mm. it gave me the chance to relieve and to break this vicious circle of heart loss, heartbreak. And um, so I came out of it, and you know what, Alexander? Now I'm working with the best psychiatrists in the world, and I'm showing how to tap into the uh, brainstem, which was thought of inaccessible. And the brainstem is also the seat of the hippocampus of the amygdala, which is emotion. And when it is uh, 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 wrongly uh, uh, feeded by uh, no serotonin uptake and dopamine, you get depressed or psychosis or manic depression mm -hmm. or uh, schizophrenic or uh, trauma, fear, PTSD, all those things, and we had no control. And now I've shown in scientific uh, study how to tap into that area because I had to heal myself. I had to uh, uh, go in society and just be there for four kids and be happy and be, well, be full of energy and full of love and not being depressed. There was no time. But it's, it's there. The heartache is there. The, the heart pain 
was there, but I was able to get out of there because I was going into the deepest part of the brain. And then uh, I've shown it recently in a study how to make uh, uh, the power of the brain at mm. work with the deepest part of my brain. That means, uh, this is what they say uh, as the conclusion. We found the compelling evidence, compelling evidence, that means dramatic for psychiatry. We found the compelling evidence of the key components, the key components of the autonomous processes in the brain. Autonomous means outside of our will. But now we found the key components of those autonomous processes in the brain related to mood regulation, absolute mood regulation. That means emotion, that we are able to control our emotion. And with that, at, uh, 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 it's uh, controlling the stress that is affecting the emotion, mm -hmm. our emotional state, equilibrium, balance. We are able to get it out. And with that, we battle uh, trauma, uh, psychosis, depression, heartache, uh, uh, emotional loss, mm. and all those things, we are able to get into that. And with that, I have a full circle from uh, my wife, where I was powerless, and all the psychiatry, and mm. now we found <coughs> the remedy. Now we found, in a natural way, how to control the emotion that is so uh, terrorizing so many. Mm. There we are. Yeah. yeah. And for that, me and you, that is great. I, 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 I got knowledge from nature, mm. and you bring it out to millions of people. That's magic. That's chemistry. That's alchemy. Yeah. Yeah, it is, Wim. It's so cool. And I, um, I, I really like your breathing technique and like your, your uh, Wim Hof method. Nice. It's, yeah, uh, great. It's, it's awesome. Great and to I, meet you, man. And I also uh, uh, would like to. Uh, I hope it will uh, cure, cure this. Yeah, amazing. But also, I have some more questions to you. I would. Uh, you have done a, a very crazy record in Finland. That's close to Sweden. When you swam under. I could see the uh, uh, Sweden. You can see the Sweden. The <laughs> yes, I was taking that uh, in Kola under the ice. Up, uh, up in Kolari. Kolari is uh, at the Swedish border. And uh, yes, under the ice, and I lost Fif the way. 57 meters. Yes. And I, you lost the way. I lost the way. At what happened? 35 meters, I lost the way because I had no goggles. I had no glasses on. So uh, my uh, retina or the cornea, the, it froze. In the ice, it froze. It froze after 35 meters, and I could not see anything. Oh, it was shit. a blur. Jesus. But yeah, you cannot wait and say, ah, I have no glasses, and that's why I'm here. No, you swim on. You keep on going, but I could not find the hole. The fifth, uh, uh, then it was the, the fir my first record, it was the 50 meter hole. I could not find it. I made 113 meters in the end. And in the end, I lost my consciousness. But the main thing is, I never felt the agony of drowning. And there was no misery going on. There was nothing bad, no pain, no nothing. And I was only breath held in shorts under the ice, 113 meters, is when a diver took me by the ankle and brought me back to the 50 meter hole. Oh shit. And, and then I, I took one breath <gasps> and it came back to life, to consciousness. Amazing. <sighs> that there I conquered my concept of what is uh, uh, death. I have no fear for death. I always say, I have no fear for dying. I have fear of not living. So That's I right. want to live. I want to live for yeah. all the, who have unnecessarily died. For those, I live and find cures. Find why we are here, what we can do, mm. and that is so much more than we thought possible. Is that your mission? Yes, mm. exactly. And together with people like yourself, Great people, bringing it out, it is awareness. It's awakening to our true potential. That is my mission, absolutely. I want to bring love, and love composed by absolute guarantee to control your own health, 
happiness, and strength. And that all endorsed by scientific evidence. Can we do like this? Can we take like, uh, can you play the Hakuna Matata song for like one minute and then we take a couple of more questions because this is love and this is so cool. Sure. I love it. From the, from the Kilimanjaro, from yeah, the top. I to, oh, that's a story, man, with uh, 26 people. Where they, uh, and they had all kinds of diseases. Cancer, Crohn's disease. Arthritis, asthma, depression. And I told him, listen guys, we're gonna climb the Kilimanjaro in three days, in shorts. With all you guys, whatever you got, doesn't matter as long as you are motivated. And then all the doctors, the physiologists, and the Alpine experts were saying, this is not possible, people are going to die. We will not link up with this expedition. This is irresponsible. You cannot do this. We went anyway. We didn't do it in three days. We did it in two days. That was my first Kilimanjaro climb with 26 people. And those people transformed. Because now they had found a resource, a potential deeply within themselves, which is far more than we ever thought possible. And we have to bring this news to the world that everybody is able to become a great climber. I, the oldest one was 65, the first climb, with four bypasses in, coronary bypasses of the heart. And he did it. He did it. He did it in two days. Amazing. And the last time I did it, the oldest person with Lyme's disease, and he did it in 31 Whoa. hours. That was the last, the fourth uh, uh, climb. With Lyme's disease, he did it in 31 hours, and he was 76 years old. Mm. So, there is a little song they play on the Kilimanjaro, and it goes as follows. Jumbo, yeah, jumbo, buona, yeah, habari gane. Look at my hair. Uh, I'm like, oh. Hey, that's some beauty. Amazing. That's good. <laughs> no, yeah, that's yeah, good yeah. for that's good for the fucking Vitaligo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that's it. That, the guy, the oldest guy who was who went up Kilimanjaro in 31 hours, 76 years old, with wow. Lyme's disease. He's healing people now. He transformed. He's making use of his deeper potential. And we are showing through this podcast that we all have that deeper potential. And know that it is connected to your autonomic nervous system, to your subconscious, and that you at will are able to connect with that and make your dream become true. Realize your dream. That is the purpose of life. That is our soul. That's why we are here for. And this work brings it to the people. Right. There we are. There we go. And we have fun while we do it. So the, we make music, uh, I make stupid jokes, because I <laughs> stupid dad jokes, uh, uh, yeah, all the time. They say, oh, I, I got this story. Uh, you know Kilimanjaro, I, we did that very successfully. 
with all these people and all these doctors, physiologists, and alpine experts. I never heard them anymore. Yeah, uh, before they had so much criticism, so much arguments, all physio physiological and all scientific and this and that, and then morally, we were not able to do this and we should not do this and people were going to die. This is immoral, this is irresponsible. <laughs> we did it and we did it faster than anybody thought. And mm. even uh, us, we surprised ourselves. We could mm. do uh, much more than we even set out mm. for to do. So there we did it. And then uh, this, this, this uh, uh, part is called the love of the family, for the family. And it's my son. And, uh, uh. So uh, after the Kilimanjaro climb, I went to the Serengeti. And the Serengeti are the elephants. The Loxodonta Africana, yeah, the I've big been there. savanna elephant. But you got also this, the, the biggest one is 7.8 tons. 7.8 tons, yeah, man, so big. Almost uh, 8 tons. It's like 8 cars or something. It's alive. <laughs> and me with my friends, the Maasai, we go. Yeah, the Maasai. And, uh, and we go approach them uh, directly uh, to the elephant. And uh, it's huge. You hear and feel its presence, the ultrasonic sounds and everything of this elephant. And you just have to keep your cool mm -hmm. while you stand there. It's enormous. Their legs, they are big like columns, mm -hmm. yeah, like the Acropolis. But now it's alive and it's coming to you and it vibrates with your physiology. It's amazing. Slowly but surely, we go to the back of the elephant. I lift up the tail. I see an enormous asshole. Enormous! It's black Africa! That's <laughs> what I see. I'm so astonished, but I got yogic uh, uh, power control. Yeah. I, I remain in check, in control with myself. Little by little, I'm so astonished about this black hole, man. I go, <laughs> uh, little by little, I go away from the elephant and we get uh, back to the moshi, to the uh, city. And I get reception on the telephone. I call my son. I say, Anna, Anna, yes, what's it? He says, yeah, we did Kilimanjaro very successfully, not in three days, but in two days, with all the 26 and all the summited in shorts. And it was amazing. It's all completely, all the doctors, all the physiologists, all the experts, uh -huh. they are wrong. We are right. The heart is right. The intuition is right. We have so much more. And mm. I went to see the biggest elephant in the world. And I saw him. And he had an enormous asshole. You <laughs> motherfucker, you are still the biggest asshole. Bang! <laughs> Love of the family. That's, a, that's, that's a joke, man. That's so good. That's a joke. That's a joke. But this is the way. We, uh, uh, me and my son, we, uh, sometimes we clash so much. But our chemistry mm. is marvelous. It's mm. marvelous. Mm. Love it's not always, oh, I love you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No chemistry. It's strong. It makes you happy. It makes you feel the purpose of life. You stay right. healthy when you are. When you are in love, you do not think. You fly. Yeah, that's right. You want to go for, as fast from A to B. You're not thinking. You mm. feel. And that feeling, you should feel for life. Yeah, from man. Kilimanjaro, we must talk a little bit about about Mount Everest. Mount Everest. Mount yeah. Everest. Altitude at seven thousand two hundred meters to the death zone. Yeah, yeah. I was in seven shorts. Five. Seven in shorts. five uh, in the death zone. Uh, like that's crazy. About ten times. Ten times. Uh, I, up and down. Up and down. Up and down. But the uh, the last one, I wanted to go to the uh, uh, to the summit. Uh, in short, and uh, in the death zone. How cold was it? Uh, uh, it, it? It's not only the cold, it's like the lack of oxygen. It's mm -hmm. only one third of the oxygen left. That makes it so difficult. Not, not, not so much the cold. The cold here, uh, I mean, when, when, when there is a, a, a wind going on, and uh, then, then it's like a whip. It's like torture on your skin. It's like knives pricking at you. But it's most of it is the lack of oxygen. Mm -hmm. Because for combustion, for energy, you need oxygen. Mm -hmm. when, when there is no oxygen, 
Then it's like you can feel your skin, but when there is a slice, when you cut in your skin, you will not heal. You do, you do this, and it is very painful. That is what, when, when you have no oxygen and you are in the cold, it's like an open wound and you are mm. feeling uh, over it instead of having skin. Mm. That is a little bit the feeling. Mm. So, uh, but I felt good. I felt good. I felt good. We have a innate capacity to adapt to severe stress. And that's what I've shown. But three months before I was on... Uh, this, uh, on the north core uh, of uh, Mount Everest and did it all. Uh, I was in Finland and I run half a marathon in, uh, in shorts, barefoot. 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 And my left forefoot after 18 kilometers became frozen. This, the, 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 mm -mm. Now it's okay. It's all okay. But not at that moment, it, it had no uh, blood flow anymore. And it was like uh, uh, a cold injury Whoa. was inflicted. And uh, uh, the doctor said, it's irreparable cell damage done, they said. And you have to take this and that and all the medicines. That was three months before the Mount Everest was going to take place. Or three, three and a half months uh, later, I was on, uh, in the death zone of Mount Everest. Three, uh, three and a half months before, I was just after the half marathon uh, uh, barefoot mm. in Finland, beyond the polar circle. So the doctor said, dermatologist professor in front of TV and showing this is irreparable damage and you can, uh, it's like that and a dead meat and your necrosis, you will be right. Uh, you, uh, we have to cut it out in four months. Four months? But in four months, I got already the money raised to go to the expedition uh, Mount Everest. <laughs> <laughs> what is the, I don't have time I'm to not, wait. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to wait four months and take a box full of medicines. Uh, I never took the medicines. I began to heal myself mm -hmm. through these techniques, through the uh, breathing. And one month later, my foot was healed. Mm -hmm. Three months later, uh, I was on Mount Everest. And then I was in the death zone. And then I felt my foot from the inside. And I, I, I'm crazy, but I'm not an idiot. Hmm. I, 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 there, at the, in the death zone, at, it was going all great, but I felt my foot. And then I thought, hmm. it's still not completely healed. So I turn around. Right. And that's what I did. Do you take any supplements or vitamins to uh, enhance your performance? Um, no. No, not at all. No, no not at all. No. How many? Uh, how often do you eat? I eat once a day. Once a day. After six o'clock. After six o'clock. And what do you eat? Uh, mostly vegetarian. Yeah. And uh, sometimes uh, fish. Uh, mm, okay. Nice. Uh, <coughs> so, why? But, why? Uh, why not meat? I, I'm. I'm a vegan, so I don't eat. But but why do you not eat meat? Uh, <coughs> first of all. Uh, did you see cows in the streets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. cowspiracy. Uh, 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 the or? cows are not living in the street. It's all not natural the way no. uh, meat is being um, uh, processed, and uh, 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 they put a lot of shit in uh, uh, antibiotics, antibiotics, and hormones, and, uh, uh, and hormones. Uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, these uh, grow hormones, etc. It's all uh, uh, it's all not natural, and uh, our bodies are not able to process. This. Mm. And uh, uh, because they are not built to uh, process chemistry, which is alien, which is not ours, but it is in there. And with that, the fear, we, uh, uh, fear also in the animals comes into us. Mm. We also deal with that. Uh, so uh, uh, the thing is, uh, uh, meat uh, is taking like 10 times more pla plant material to uh, grow one piece of meat. So uh, uh, plant-based uh, uh, proteins are equal to meat proteins. This is, uh, it's only built in that we eat so much meat. We are actually collectors. We mm. got a physiology to collect. And I, I, I take myself away from prejudice, be vegan, be, uh, 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 how do you say these, uh, people who are just eating meat, uh, uh, doesn't matter, or vegetarian, or a uh, half or pescatarian or uh, this <laughs> and that all uh, to me it's like politics 
uh, uh, I think you have to uh, learn that life is life and food is life. And if you take life, you take something else too. Yeah, mm -hmm. a, 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 a lot of shit. And it com also comes to you. But it's, uh, it's all up to you. Uh, there's only one thing uh, I say don't, you do, really don't eat uh, meat as much as being presented. We, we are presented to society. Don't eat meat, you said. Breakfast. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Not only meat, but you, you don't, uh, if you eat less, you become better. Your neurology is being tested and revised every day. If you mm. do, uh, it, it's called now intermittent uh, fasting. And uh, I already di did it when the name was not uh, existent. Uh, like 40 years. I began so you have done ago. this for 40 years? Yes. All right. I, I, I eat once a day, 40 years long now. And, I feel and how big is your meal? Is it like the, your the, four uh, plates? Until I feel complete, done, it's normal. It's, it's a normal. So it's a normal how many calories do you get every day? I don't know. I just <laughs> eat to my heart's content. Yeah, I understand. And that's it. And you are never sick? No, uh, no, no sickness, no. You have not been sick for like... No. How many years? Yeah, too many years, maybe. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry for the doctors and the pill industry, but uh, not, uh, I'm not a customer of yours. Uh, uh, mm. they, that, that is kind of a joke, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, uh, uh, I'm healthy. I'm mm. healthy, and I got stacks of energy. I got so much energy, and that is, you know, uh, food equals energy. Mm. Mm. But too much food takes energy mm. to process. It takes so rest. it takes energy and it's being stored as white fat in the body. Mm. That, that, that is. And what do you recommend then? Is breathing it, is it better. Breathing better equals also energy. If you breathe better, oxygen gets better in the cell. Then it pre uh, it makes the mitochondrial switch to ATP molecules energy. It makes it enhances it. You got aerobic dissimulation and anaerobic dissimulation, and we are able to produce like or two molecules or 38 with the same amount. And that is by uh, making it aerobic. Aerobic is oxygen. Oxygen comes from energy, comes from food, but also from breathing, of course. Mm. So if you breathe deeper, you get more oxygen in the cell, creating more energy. Less food is needed to create all these molecules. This is not a, 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 a one a once a day eating. is not only good for you, mm -hmm. it's also uh, making a solution for the food problem in the world. We are missing out for, uh, into something, conscious breathing, conscious deep breathing, which is, uh, uh, enables us to go, uh, uh, go and stimulate our deeper physiology. We get more energy, and we are able to connect with that deeper physiology than at will, consciously. With that, the immune system, endocrine system, depression is gone, anything is gone. It's amazing. Just breathe. And uh, this is, we got this T-shirt. Mm. It says freeze on uh, one side, and <laughs> turn around. It says breathe, motherfucker. <laughs> you know, it, because it is so simple. Yeah, it is so simple. And it's like, it's too simple. It's maybe too simple for those who make a lot of money. Yeah, that's of right, that's right, that's right. Producing pills and medicines because we uh, uh, get so much stress through shallow breathing and in the long term becomes oxidative. We deregulate the immune system. We become, uh, uh, we get diseases. Yeah, and I must ask you about this. Uh, when, you, when, when you took the world record for ice bath in one hour and 53 minutes... One hour and 53 minutes. Did you felt like when you were sitting there for like 53 minutes, like, holy shit, it's one hour more. It's one hour in this cold. Or how is your mindset? But you, you talk uh, uh, about the focus, but what are you thinking about? What are Wim Hof's mindset? Exactly. The, the thing is, you do not think. You are not thinking. Thinking is only... The layer when you feel comfortable, you have clothes on and you sit, then you are able to think. But when you are in love, you don't think. When you go for your first That's bungee true. jump, you don't think. When you are in war, you don't think. When you have to uh, survive, you don't think. This is what I have learned to do. To not think, just feel. 
and control, uh, feel and break, uh, adapt to the stressful uh, environment, which is in this case the, the cold directly upon my skin, it's stress. And feel, go into the adaptation and stay over there. Become aware that you are in control. We, are, uh, we lost that connection, which is the limbic system together with the brainstem, the survival mechanisms, which is opioids and cannabinoids. Opioids, cannabinoids, adrenaline. That is not only to survive, mm. but also to have a great time. You, many people who have been rescued in a very strange, uh, uh, mortal, almost like survival situations, they say, it was a great experience. Mm -hmm. What is that? That is when the deeper part of the brainstem uh, is activated. But we never do that because we are into shallow breathing, comfort zone behavior, and then only the surface of our brain is really uh, well uh, blood. Uh, the, the blood flow is then uh, very well over there, but not into the depth. It's not there because it's not exerted. It's not needed. We don't expose ourselves. Mm. And when we find in uh, very difficult situations, we don't know how to get there to heal ourselves or to get out of a situation. We become fearful. Uh, uh, it's all logical. So what I do at the, uh, 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 through all these exercising in the cold is learning to shut the fuck up inside. Mm. I am here to deal with the stress coming in and I, I want to have a great time. And I, I always have a great time. When I, you will see, when I go into the ice water, <laughs> I'm here, yeah, it's a big smile coming on. Yeah, I, I yeah, can't wipe it up, man. And it, it's nice because it's feeling... Feeling You're alive. In. I'm alive in the deeper parts of my own yeah. brain. And that, 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 there is the child. There is the spontaneity. There is the lust for life without thoughts. Just pure energy. Yeah. And that, that, at that moment, I just simply control it. I stay over there. I'm not going to begin to think. And I, you know, I can even think about things, but... It's of no good. I know I have to be there in my feeling. And what are your um, advice to me when we go into the ice bath? And I, and I said to you that like, I want to. I had never done it before. Um, I had never. I've only been like, yeah, you go to an ice bath for, you know, ten seconds, twenty seconds, something like that. I am at my um, my place in uh, my uh, my wife's place in in, in Sweden. And we take an ice bath and then we go to the sauna. What are your advice to me to stay there and have a nice, cool lesson and uh, feel alive in 10 exactly. beautiful minutes? Yes, beautiful minutes. Uh, 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 that, that, that's, what that's are the it. advice? Uh, uh, my advice is simple. Uh, uh, let yourself go. Control of the mind is learning to let go. Not to control. Let it go. Then the body suddenly is able to adapt. Uh, the adaptation is being done by deeper mechanisms in our brain. You learn to, by letting go, to activate deeper parts in your brain. And with that, you learn to have a control over stress. The cold is the stress. But now you will see in the 10 minutes that you are able to deal with the stress by letting go. You just let it go and it'll come to you. And it is able not to be blocked, but to flow into the deeper parts of the brain. And you will learn to have a neurological new pathway to those parts of the brain. But all the thoughts that, uh, that will come, like saying, oh, sure. you have stand here for like three minutes, you have seven minutes sleep. Holy shit, you're going to die. You're yes. freezing. Yes. So I'll, 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 all this I'll thoughts. be there, but uh, yeah... Uh, Know that it is a ridiculous motherfucker trying to get, uh, get you out of, of the... Uh, it, it's like this, the surface of the brain has taken over the identity of who we are. Mm. Well, the, uh, who we are is the whole of our brains. We have shown in, uh, in uh, Hanover with one of the two best brain scans that through these breathing techniques... We are able, and they derive from going into the cold. Then you learn to breathe deep, 
And with that deep breathing, you are able to control your chemistry, to change your chemistry. And that needs to be done to oppose the stress. The chemistry needs to change to neutralize the stress impact. For that, you do the deeper breathing. Mm-hmm. And uh, you will do that long breaths in, uh, 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 yes, long breaths in, letting go, long breath. Just follow the breath and you will be okay. Great. Um, uh, thing is, they saw what we normally, we are only able to consciously control 16% of our brain because our chemistry is mostly uh, uh, well blood fat mm. fat the blood flow goes to the surface of our brain and thus the chemistry is right with the right blood flow now you learn to bring the blood flow to all the parts of the brain that means that all the parts of the brain suddenly become within the vicinity of your conscious will then you are able to get into the deeper parts of the brain and to learn to at will control it, to activate it, to by letting go, you know it is going to come and it's going to take, uh, it's going to deal with the stress. After this, you will be able not only to uh, learn to let go and deal with this stress, like ten minutes, and it's nice, it's okay, wow, but to deal with mental stress, with emotional mm. stress, with bacterial stress, Great. virus stress, any stress. Right. By learning to let go. You let it come. Don't, uh, don't be in fear. Oh, I have to do it. No. Let go, let go, let go. Yeah. And then it's able to deal with the stress coming. Right. Okay, we jump into the last questions. And the first one, what advice would you give given to your 30-year-old self? 30 years uh, and or 20 years, you know, uh, younger self. I say, just keep on, man. You're a good motherfucker. <laughs> Great. Okay. If you only have 10 minutes a day to do a new routine, what do you recommend to do? A 10 min- uh, if you only have 10 minutes, then uh, at least do two rounds of the, these breathing. We have a free app on our website. And uh, you can go there and you, you see. Wim Hof dot. Yeah. A, a, a Wim Hof method dot. Come, and there is a free app. You take it down. You get all the basics of the breathing. And if you only have ten minutes, that ten minutes, even one minute of that breathing, is ten times better of not doing it. The right. outcome is f- by far more than the investment you give. Mm. You learn to become the alchemist by just in a couple of minutes deeper breathing. Uh, within your, you change your chemistry. You, you become the alchemist. Mm. You make your body positively in chemistry, alkaline. We did the studies in the blood, so it's all there. And then a cold shower, cold shower a day keeps Keep the, the doctor doctors away. away. <laughs> That's awesome. And right download on. the app. That's uh, very very good at Wim Hof Method dot com. Yes, sir. And also, my last question, is there a new extreme record that you would like to accomplish? The thing is, uh, right now, I'm into uh, many scientific programs, but, yeah, you know, the blood goes as the blood goes. It goes where it cannot go. So I think of uh, doing a new uh, Kilimanjaro climb and uh, go even faster, uh, and that's coming uh, in February. Hmm? I'm 60 years old now, and... Uh, I think it's time for a new world record. Whoa, interesting, interesting. And if you want to uh, learn more, you can go into your website, wimhoffmethod.com, and also you have a YouTube channel as well. Yes. Wim Hof. Okay, and uh, Instagram, you can uh, have yeah, some. The Iceman Wim Hof or something. Uh, I do know. Yeah, I, know. Iceman Wim Hof, yeah. that's right, that's yeah. right, that's right. They make all kinds of things, and uh, it's nice. It's and, good. And, you, and you have courses here? Yeah. I got courses, retreats, events all over the world. And we even got an academy. So we teach doctors, and, but uh, 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 not only doctors, also carpenters. Uh, uh, anybody who is motivated is able to become a therapist with these techniques who are, uh, show, have shown themselves in science to be very effective and very accessible. That's amazing. And... It has been a pleasure to have you here and also to be here. And now 
It's going to be so interesting to take a nice, nice ice bath in at least, at least, 10 minutes. 10, 10 minutes, minutes in hell. 10 minutes is coming. It's like... 10 minutes in fucking hell. <laughs> yes. It's, it's like from, uh, from hell to heaven. Uh, 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 10 minutes is like time from time to timelessness. Mm. No time. It's like experience. Mm. You, and you are in control. So you get a deeper control within yourself today. Mm. Mm. And with that, uh, I thank you to have come to mm, thank my you very place. Much. Thank you very much. So for me to be on your uh, podcast. It's great. It's a, it's a synergy. It's alchemy. It's chemistry. And this is going to reach out to so many people. And there's so many people deserve so much better uh, techniques, tools, and uh, awareness. And we will give it. And that, uh, because we love everybody. Mm. That's right. That's right. Thank you very much. Wim Hof, the Iceman. Hey, Amen. Yeah. Great. Great. Yes. Good shit, man. Good shit. It was really good. That was so good.